Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostriff, where I see we've got a fresh load of lumber being brought into our boat yard. I think it takes 20 lumber to build a boat, and our fishing dock over there has ordered two. I'm going to go ahead and order all three. I think fishing is going to be one of our major, it's not only supplies of food, but maybe trade. We'll see how that works too. Anyway, we've got two workers trying to build boats for us, so that's that's a good thing um what else to do right now so food a f supply of food has begun we've got the farm going in click there we are which should bring us the next type of food and then we've got the possibility later of cattle and meat for another supply of food so is that the only three in the game so far let's think about that Meat will also bring you leather, so tannery and shoemaking. Um, and then we'll have a variety of uh, different types of crops eventually. Okay. Just noticing how quiet it is. If I turn the volume all the way up, I can hear birds in the background. I know if you go into the woods, it gets much louder. But it'd be nice to bring the background noise up just a little bit. Because it feels really quiet for me, although I don't play with headphones. So I've got to keep my volume down a little bit so the speakers don't interfere with the mic. So if you guys, maybe you can hear more than I can. Anyway, we got the trader in last time. We asked it to put in a supply of 10 wood, out of, well, 20 wood. We've got 10 of it there. I'm thinking we're going to hold off on that just yet. Let's turn that off. I want that wood available for building. Let's think that way. We're not, we're not there yet. We've got uh, some more basic buildings that I've got to get in this season. So I don't think we've got the luxury of taking some of it away to store just in case. Well, got folks back in their in their summer clothes and they're sitting at the bench over there. Eventually that one. Not sitting here. Where are you headed? You are Odarka. And you still like the log. <laughs> okay. The old log is, is much better. All right. Um, okay, so farm, we have got no laborers at the moment. Nobody is queued up to bring over whatever supplies are needed. What is actually needed right now? Probably just to have these guys installed. So we're waiting for a worker to come by. Over here, logs. No logs stored. 20 wood is stored. Huh. Just debating what I need to be doing right now. Thatch. We've got lots of thatch. Let's turn this one read into thatch 18 let's send you away so you're available to do other things we've got the one empty house nobody's there because we don't have enough food for sale food for sale is over here in the market where marina is trying to sell fish but we don't have anything in stock Okay, because we don't have this up and running again. All right, so let's kick the speed up to two and think about things here. We know we're going to want more people here. So let's set up a couple more houses just to have them built so that when the food does show up, it's ready for them. Um, yeah, down in here. Let's rotate that around so the entrance is on that side. And kind of like the, uh, the way the fence goes out a diagonal over here right there now I can hear hammering in the background oh you know what that was let me slow down a minute it was I missed it who is this can I click on a person I cannot one of these two guys was going to show us how to build a boat and I'll take that down like so and he already built it now he's delivering it so with him delivering that let's go ahead and get one person assigned to uh, take a job over here get the fishing going so that uh, our food stall there oh the camera is still a bit wild I can take the DPI down on my mouse and slow it down one two three four and now the spinning is more controlled but then my mouse I've got to go across my whole mouse pad to get from here to here so yeah we need to need Maybe soon the controls to uh, either 
change one or the other so we can balance them better. That would be that would be great. But house is now set in the queue. And let's get another one in. Up in this area? What kind of room do we have? Nothing in there. The entrance is right here for that house. So if we were to rotate this around and do something like that. Right there. What do I need there? T. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And let's leave room for a decent sized road in between. Just in case we need to do something later and shoot off into this area. What else needs to be queued up? And what I don't know is if this paused bridge was sitting at this end. Would they skip it? Or would that send the whole queue to a grinding halt? I don't know that answer, so I keep wanting to shift it to the back just in case it's not. Um, there's two houses. Do we want a third? I have a feeling with three fishermen we're going to have quite a bit of food coming in, but we're not going to have a lot of flour coming in. I don't know if it's necessary to have um, multiple sources of food to keep them healthy or, or how much has been built into the game yet or if I'm just overthinking it. Um, two houses there, one over there. Let's call that done for now. What else needs to go in though in regard to the farm? Which is being built again. We've got a worker assembling all that. Let's pop down in here and kind of watch that. Uh, kick the speed back up again and watch it over there so I can do this. So if we go with wheat we're going to want a windmill. And we're going to need the cow shed in before cattle are offered to us. And what else looks important here? The carpentry builds carts, wagons, and plows and simple furniture. So the farm, from the farm, you can call for the building of a plow. Kind of like from the fishery, you can call for the building of a boat. So that's got to be in too. What's first? Anything else? Thatchery, shoe, oil, weaver, tailor, tan. We've got this in already. So the carpentry, smithy, the cow shed, and the windmill. I think it's where we're going right now. At least to get them into the queue, we may have to reorder them as we go. Um, let's see. Let's go with carpentry. And I'm kind of thinking needs to be near this guy. And we're starting to clear force, which means we're starting to create more building space up here. So I think he needs to go there. Is that straight? That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, cows. Where do the cows go? So I'm thinking a lot of this is going to be fields. I'm pretty sure we can handle six fields per farm. The farm is the headquarters that sends the workers out to the various fields. So this is, uh, you know, this, each farm is able to do multiple fields. Tapping. That's what I want right there. All right. Who is this? Antin? Antin? It's going to show you how to build a boat. Now, pay close attention. This is how it's done. That will go even faster. Oh, too fast. <laughs> you caught that, right? <laughs> that was fun. And he delivers it, and we can hire another fisherman. All right. With jobs available, we fulfill one of the obligations here. See, the oh, water supply is poor. Not enough food for sale. So that has popped in. Why is that? So water supply. Why would it be poor when we have that much reserve? Water, 4.9. Curious if I'm going to catch anybody walking up to it while we're here. No. There. There. We, nope. She sat down. Okay. Let's put another well in. That's where we're on. Two speed. Yeah, that's kind of stalled. Ooh, what? Huh? Stalled. Why? No stall. Stall's not allowed. Can't find wood. Because we're using it for boats. Ah, we are. Let's do this. Oh, he must have been heading that direction. Let's, we'll leave it ordered, but we're not going to fulfill that. I need that wood available. Is there still wood stored in here? Nope, they've already taken that too. We've got to get that farm up. We're already at the end of March. I'm not sure what the growing seasons are. So, all right, no more wood being diverted 
to anything but this farm. So you guys, two are in place, waiting 15 wood because we must have a log inside and they were processing it. Okay, another log's waiting out there to go pick up. Let's throw another worker in here since we took the two out of the other one and get somebody uh, helping out. If two people are hauling in logs, one can go in and do the processing. So three seems to be a pretty efficient number for this, this building. Although once it's filled, once it's maxed out to your, your capacity there, then, uh, um, then you don't need three. Um, what was I in the middle of? Water. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go at slow speed for a while then. This little triangle looks like it needs something. And I can't force a house into there, right? Yeah, there's no way to rotate you. Where's the opening? Right over there. There's no way to make that square fit a triangle. It's not going to conform. And, you know, there's instructions down here that I never even notice. I have to force myself to look down. Hold shift to place multiple buildings. We figured that out with the trees. Use R and T to rotate and alt to disable snapping. So this sense right here of the of the fence boing, snapping to it. Alt allows you to place it where you want to and not be limited by where the game forces you to put it. So that's kind of nice, but even alt's not going to help me get anything into there. So if we cannot put another house in there, what can we? And I'm kind of thinking the well would work well in here. The well would work well. Mm. What else would work well in there? How about some more cart parking? They have to go to here to park it. What if we park carts there and park carts here and park carts there? Would it make it more efficient or would it make it worse? Would they need a cart and it's way over there instead of a central point? I don't know. All of these folks walk over here. These folks over here. Actually, it's over here that we need another well. It really is. Or here. So let's think about this. We've got to, we're on slow, so we're still in March. Good. We wanted a road through here. Wanted a road through here. We've got a road through here. That's why I was thinking of this place because it's rotate around. It uh, it works well. Maybe down here. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know that there's a cost for it. Actually, it doesn't list a cost. So we could just pop these in all over and it wouldn't be an issue, would it? Huh. I kind of like that idea. I mean, right now, while the game is young and, and not all those things have been worked into it yet, later I'm sure there's going to be a cost for this. But while there's not, there is a cost that needs to be built, though. It's not like the market stall. And speaking of market stalls, where are you? There? It's one of the few professions that will hire women. So, do we want to get more of them in? We could once the fish really start moving in. We could do that. Let's get it built, though. There, and that's an insta-build, and no sense of a cost. Whereas, you can see here, this takes 87 wood, 174 nails, and 32 clay. This one doesn't list anything. So, I'm going to make the assumption it's free to put them in, and this is going to be our little market area. Okay, so the well is going to go there. Let's think about carts. Carts right now park here. That is fairly central. But if we gave them a choice over here and a choice over here, maybe right in there, that could be beneficial. So carts are... Cart parking holds up to four carts. Like that? Or would it look better not using the E but the T? Would it look better on the diagonal of the road? Kind of gives more of a reason to have a diagonal, I think. What's the closest I can get? Right there. And that's an insta build. Okay. So, what did you just do? You dropped off four wood that was at the very end. That's interesting. Why? I wonder if water is given a higher priority over everything else because it's so important. 
That's interesting. What do we need here? We have a use for wood, nails. Okay, we're awaiting one wood. And then nails and thatch. And we have the nails and thatch already here. So we're just awaiting wood, which is not available because it got taken to the well. <laughs> oh, we're, we're popping out some more right here. Okay, so we're into April. Got to get that farm built. I want it. I want to find a priority button somewhere and prioritize it. <laughs> It'll happen. Got to have patience. I mean, they need their breaks. So, I'm not going to hire anybody for these yet till I know we have fish. We have 0.4 fish in here. 0.4. I'm thinking that means 0.4 of a of a large quantity. Not, not a four-tenths of a fish, but four-tenths of a, of a crate or something like that. We've got, we're waiting for 0.1 fish to come in. And we are short a worker. So, where are the workers at? Nobody there. Nobody there. we got nobody here. So we just have, and only one there. Do we have a strike going on? You are a smithy. Nobody's working there. Interesting. Where's me workers? Wonder if the game's not queuing them up somehow. What was that noise? Okay, they got the well in. So the idea of scattering more wells around for convenience is not that convenient for our queue, so I'm going to hold off on doing that anymore. But there should be no more distraction now, right? You're right there. So we've got to get the farm in. And we've got a laborer that is bringing in the last thing. Then we'll hire the workers again to finish installing all these. So seven wood is being brought because there was only seven available or because seven is exactly what we need now. Don't know. We'll leave that up. Let's think about things here. We were looking at wanting a windmill. And we're looking at wanting a cow shed. Okay. And there's something I didn't do. Something I want to get more in the habit of doing. The carpentry over there. Let's get down and look at these buildings. But can I go a little lower? I can. There we go. Just look at the detail that he's got into, uh, into these models. Look at the bottom of the shingles on the roof edges there. Yeah, these look really good. I'm trying to think of what that wall construction's called. If it's what I'm thinking is it'd be a like a a one by twelve uh, alongside each other, then a little one by two over the seam. Board and bat? It's not shiplap. It's I'm thinking board and bat is what that's called. Something similar to that. Yeah, that is nice. We need to take some time one of these episodes and just kind of look at all the buildings of the game. All right, so you were the oh, house that's starting to get a foundation in. So we're jumping ahead a little bit, too. Because we didn't have any woods, so they moved on to the next thing we do have. We have lots of clay and nails and whatnot. Though 18 wood have shown up over there. Come on, guys. we got to get this going. In fact, let's force this a little bit. Let's pause everything else. I really want to get this going. Continue, continue, and pause you. Nobody doing anything else now except for this. Let's get that done. Uh, we have a worker assigned, so someone's going to go and start installing. Good. Over here, we still only have one worker. And one worker. Am I missing something here? Let's get into this one. Still not enough food for sale. Workers, we have six. Now, over here, was it last episode that we saw that the manager would get a green bar for him working and then he'd go and take a break? Then another green bar for him working. I wonder if it shows that here, but over here, when he's on his break, he's just not employed anymore. I wonder if that's a thing. And then when that official break time is over, he's reemployed again. I don't know. That is odd. He's always seen, we always seem to have what we needed over here before. But we're only seeing the one worker. Well, 
two. Someone just showed up. Got the one over here that's three. And we've got the one over here that's four. But there's six available. At least six. We have eight families. Huh. How much fish is over here? So we're not storing fish. Reserved. Because Marina is going to get it. So she's reserved it. She's going to bring it back over here where we have 0.5 fish built up so far. Okay. We have another boat. We just need to get some fishermen in there. Anyway, this will happen better or faster if I were to speed it up, of course. So let's do that. I'm still exploring the game. So that's why I'm not worried about racing through it. I'm still learning it. I'm still enjoying learning it. Let's put it that way. Still exploring what each of these guys do. Windmill needs to go in. And as I bring that up, this is finished. Okay, take the speed back down and let's think about this. Now, add a field. Let me pop my screen up a little bit here. Now, Cathra wrote in and, and gave me the suggestion that a field of 25 to 30 is a good number in the sense that it's not so small that they get finished with it too quickly and it's not so big that they don't get a chance to finish uh, harvesting it. Of course, I don't know when harvest season begins. Was it first of April? Was it first of March? So to go in with full-size fields now is probably going to hurt us this year. So I'm thinking, there we go, one, two, three, four, there's five, there's six posts, or six uh, fence sections. Let's do that. Then you click again and then you stretch it out. And there you can see output of 15, 20. Let's do something around 20. Though I am a little crooked. Let's right click and back off one. See if I can get that straighter. Somewhere in there. That looks a little better. I guess I got a little bit shorter. So I only got to 19. Okay, right click and go to there. 20. There we go. We'll do multiple of these, but right now let's activate. We're going to be putting in wheat. Right-click to remove. I don't know how to put it back in, so I'm not going to right-click it. Um, what else? Plowing is skipped because we don't have a plow. Here's our nutrients for the soil. They're all at 100% because it's, it's rich topsoil right now. And the farm that it's associated with is over here. I assume that if we had multiple farms, they would show up in a list and we could assign to another. But this is the farm that it's associated with now. These are all the laborers that are available right now. And... I cannot... Now, we just got another update, and it mentioned in the update notes that I would be able to limit the amount of laborers working in a farm. But I don't see that here right now. So maybe I misunderstood that. Um, speaking of updates, there are a lot of updates happening to this game. We've already had two of them, and the game only came out a few days ago. So um, I might pre-record a bunch of episodes just in case an update, update comes up soon that is a game breaker, you know, a save file breaker. So we'll see about that. i gotta got to think about that. One thing about being part of a game that's so new, it's going to change drastically over the next many months. And some of those changes are going to be, uh, you know, too much for an old game save file to, to continue to work for it because core aspects of the game will change. We've got all of our laborers starting to show up, and they're going to go through and sew it. So they're starting to walk back and forth and sew it. We're going to see a green bar shoot across here showing the progress of it. Then throughout the summer, we'll see the growth bar continue, and then, and then it's got to ripen, and then we'll harvest it. So let's get another one going. The race is to get the next field up and running before these laborers run out of things to do in this one. So back to the farm and add field. Let's, we'll make contact with it. We don't need a road this side of this one. That's a fairly straight line. It does snap. Oh, that's nice. Good. And that looks pretty close. If I take you to match there, we're at 22. Let's back off a little, about like that. There's 20. I'm going to do three fields of 20, and then three fields of 25. Something along those lines. And that way we'll just do the three fields this year, and then we will follow these and do the other three fields, the bigger ones, when the year starts at the very beginning and there's no worry about 
not getting them done. But we've already lost some time on these. So we're going to activate you. And you are wheat. And I don't need to do anything else. Let's pop over here. Put in one more. And where to? Where are we here? Let's get into about like this. And up to about there. So if we take you across, I'm thinking between the openings. What does that look like? From there to there. To get to 20, we got to go a long way. All right, don't like that. So what if we did a shallow one then to get out all the way to here? And then... That works. All right, so not as long, a little shallower, but longer this way. So that's a, approximately the same square uh, area as these. I guess so. Yeah, if you take this and rotate it, it looks like that. Sure. Okay. So there's three that could be done this year. Activate, and now this farm has three fields associated with it. And it didn't cost us any time or materials to get those built. Speaking of time and materials, boy, I am not on the ball over here. Well, hopefully then they have been making lumber. Wood 45, good. Let's get, we've got workers over here now. Let's go ahead and get this boat queued up. One there. And do we have enough food for the houses? We do not. Why? You, I've got 0.8 fish. So I'm, I'm going to make the guess that at one fish, one quantity, we'll be able to bring migrants in. Nomads, whatever you want to call them. Right now, no fishermen are actually using the boats. Okay. Up here, we st we have three people employed. Here, the manager position, from what I've read, will allow for automatic crop rotation. Or, we can go through and... What are you? That takes you to the field. At some point, it gives me the ability to add fallow to leave fallow for the next season. Maybe that was prior to actually queuing it up to work on it. But right now we're officially in the season, so I can't do that. So this winter, maybe we can choose what we're going to do next season with it. Um, let's go ahead and add the, the other three in. So another field. Let's put a road in there. Like so. You're going to be longer this time. Well, there's going to be a lot of walking. That could be a problem. Yeah. Where else, though? There really is nowhere else. Okay. Well, we'll do it anyway. So you look something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty-five. We go up to thirty-two. I'm thinking of stopping at twenty-five, and that lines up pretty good over there. All right. We'll do you. And let's just do one more. We'll do five fields. Like so. Match you. Something like that. And to hit 25 out over here, got to do something like that. And we're getting a little wonky. We'll call that perspective. The uh, narrow there and wide here. Yeah, that's what it is. It's perspective. <laughs> Anyway, just kind of thinking about that. You know, the freedom you have in this game is that you're not confined to a north, south, east, west grid. But if you could push maybe control to attach to a grid when you choose to, that would allow you to line things up properly. Alt allows you to not snap. Maybe shift or control could allow you to snap to uh, compass directions when you want to do that. And then don't press it when you want to the freedom to, to rotate and do other things. So there's a suggestion I might toss in as a as just a uh, an additional uh, benefit there. Um, farms are going in. Let's check the progress here. All right, sowing is done. Growing has begun over here. Sowing is almost done, uh, but no laborers are available because we opened up the the building market again. 
Ah, so laborers are now assigned to... No, that's not the case. So maybe those laborers are all on a break. They work for a while, then they stop for a while, then they work for a while and stop for a while. So they cycle in and out. So I'm going to make the guess that it's something to do with that. In the end, wait a minute. Or we have hit a point to where it's too late to sew, and the sewing quit. Don't know. You are going to do what? Does it say? Does not say what you're doing. You are the only one assigned, and you are working. So I assume you're going to go finish the sewing. So we'll see if others become there. They're starting to filter back in again. Taking a rest. You're working. Huh. Be curious to know a little more about how the game makes those decisions. Anyway, your house, and you're the one being worked on. You still don't have enough food. Because you have 0.9, and you have got 0.02 waiting to be brought in. But nothing is reserved for Marina to go and get. She is just sitting in there. Let's hire another one. Worker, and you're going to sell fish. And a laborer is assigned. I didn't see that for this one. That's interesting. Oh, that's right. That's what I missed over here. I told you about the update, and I was curious why they didn't work. I'm still running on the old save file. So while the updates are in play, we're still running by the rules set when I built this farm, or this market stall. This market stall is running by new rules. Ah, so there's another reason why I've got to speed through a series and be prepared to start over once in a while to get the fresh updates into the game. I see. All right. Well, let's queue up a few more things and then call this episode done. So one mill we talked about. I want to get you in. Uh, this building cannot be rotated, says right there. Whole shift place multiples. So I wonder why that is. I wonder if the, uh, the building model hasn't been drawn to go in all different directions. So there's, is that where it should go? We have a void kind of forming down in here, kinda. Probably should have gone right down in here, huh? Too bad we can't rotate that. Wait a minute. Um, let's pull out of that. What happens if I do this? Those are the trees that it affects. But yeah, it is still turned this direction. Okay. So there... That would be an inter interesting place for it, too. This is too far away from the source. Now, they're going to harvest the wheat. I wonder where they're going to store the wheat. That's where you would want the windmill, where the wheat's being stored. Unless they're able to take it from the field directly to the windmill, but I suspect they're going to store it here, and then they're going to take it over to here. So yeah, it really kind of needs to be in this area. So let's go ahead and do that. Windmill is in place. Now once that is in, let's see, we had the cow shed, and then I'd want to put a house in, one more house, and then we can probably get onto the bridge. Cow shed. Where do we put that? And let's look at it. Let's get down in here. Right there. Rotate you around. Looks like the cattle moves in to those uh, ramped doors right there. And the people go in this end. Okay. You can see the, uh, the details of the ridge of the roof there and the end gables. Really nifty. I like that. Where do we put it? And does he need to be... I can't put him inside of a field. So it's not like I can build a field up against him. So I'm not real sure how this works. This just feels like it's too far away. But I would think that there would be you know, a fenced pasture attached to it. So the cattle go into a pasture and the people walk in the door over there to the left of it. That's where I would put it. You know, right there. 
but it's not going to interact in that way. I wonder if once you place it, you then build a pasture to it, like building this guy first and then building a pasture. That's possible. Well, in that case, where do we go? We're running into building problems down here. Cow shed, you know, uneven terrain. We got good terrain over here, though. Huh. Let's just put it right here. Right there. Uh, let me get above a little bit. That's fairly parallel. I'm going to go with that. And a little space behind it. Though I want to keep it fairly far into there because we're going to uneven too far away over here. And if he then builds another pasture, we have a little bit of room to do that. If he inter just uses these guys, interacts with those, then we're not too far away from them. You know, this would be the, the cow pasture. But there is the last of our... No, one more house. One more house in. Probably for next year's migration. And I'm thinking we need to get some housing out in here so we're not walking so far away. So this is not buildable because it's all uneven. So let's... At least as far as another pasture goes. We lose it right there. And that's too small to be another field, I think. I think. Let's verify that. If we grab that corner... Yeah, took you to... You're not going to tell me. Can I do it on uneven? Uh, alt? No? That's interesting. All right, let's snap to right there. And then I'll take you across. You will work even when it's uneven. Really? All right, we know it's really uneven over here. What if I were to build you there and there? Too small. I can put these on slopes. Oh, nice. So there's something we can do with the parts of the map that you can't build houses on. Very interesting. Okay, so we could put another farm out over here later and farm on, on the slopes. Okay. So I could put more, more fields over here. I could put number six. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that real quick. You're going to go there, you're going to snap to, you're going to take you out to something like that, which gives us a 24. That's good. You <sighs> activate but fallow. Right-click to remove. Not doing any good. But it's probably going to say that it's too late in the year to do anything. I would imagine it would. You will activate, you will activate. But is there a way to... Let's scroll you up. 3, 4, and 5 I don't want... No, 4, 5, and 6 I don't want to use. You're active. But you're not giving me the chance. Right-click to remove. It's not doing anything. Well, we'll wait and see just what that does. Actually, I probably should just deactivate you then. Can I deactivate during a season? So I shouldn't have activated them. Well, that one, no, I don't want it to deactivate. But this one? No. Well, we'll see what happens. We, I don't get the sense that we run out of seed, right? It's not a list of our stored resources. So it's not like we're going to plant and then lose all of that seed. So we may just get to see what happens when a crop doesn't finish in time. But what we have here, we are starting to grow. We're sown, we're sown. We're sown. And these are not, though they may be soon. Okay. So we've still got another house to put in. I think we'll do that next time. Let's peek down at these guys. Right there. There we go. And right there. And I think we'll call this one done. It's kind of watch the peaceful scene over here. It's been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to dive in and record some more of these. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.